Welcome to View from the Grandstand. Thank you for tuning in. I'm your host, Justin Pora. And in today's episode of View from the Grandstand, we mourn the loss of two legends that we lost this week in the sports world. First being Bill Russell, who died at the age of 88, the former NBA basketball player. And the other being Vin Scully, the 94-year-old sportscaster best known as the Dodgers play-by-play announcer and has announced many memorable moments in sports history both passed away earlier this week in what has been really a tragic week for the sports world now Vin Scully obviously has a very important impact on me and other sportscasters around the world and Bill Russell known forever as one of the greatest basketball players of all time so in this week's episode we will remember them properly and talk about their accomplishments and what they mean to the sports world. Let's start with Bill Russell. And when you talk about Bill Russell, of course, it's easy to start with all of the basketball stuff. He is the most winning team sports player of all time, an 11 time NBA champion, 12 time all star, five time league MVP. And you're probably used to seeing him at the end of the NBA finals every single year handing out the finals MVP award that has been named after him. Bill Russell was a part of the Boston Celtics during the 1960s, one of the all-time leaders in blocks, one of the greatest defensive presences in basketball history. But what Bill Russell was able to do outside of the game of basketball with his platform was truly remarkable. He was always one to stand up in the face of social justice, Boston has always gotten a bad rep as a notoriously racist sports town. And Bill Russell was able to stand in there for however long he did, took all the hits and did nothing but provided a winning atmosphere and a great culture for what is one of the more decorated franchises in all of sports being the Boston Celtics. He was just a guy with an insane personality, had one of the greatest laughs you'll ever hear. And of course, When he was winning as much as he was, he was the most prominent figure in sports at the time, along with Muhammad Ali and fellow NBA player Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, formerly known as Lou Alcindor. Now, Bill Russell was always a fun guy in his older age. Again, I'm only 23 years old. I can't tell you how often I've seen Bill Russell play basketball. I've only seen black and white highlight clips. But seeing his presence and how well he was received in the NBA community was truly a beautiful thing. You always saw him on stage. Of course, during the NBA Finals MVP ceremony, he's always up there joking around with the players. We remember him flipping the bird to Charles Barkley during the ESPYs. Just a really good guy, obviously well received by his peers. And we will never forget what Bill Russell did for the game of basketball. Then on the other side, you have Vin Scully. He dies at the age of 94 years old, 55 years as the broadcaster for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Always had a very calming presence about him when announcing a game. I actually saw a clip earlier today. This was probably 2015. Whenever the Dodgers had Yasiel Puig, he catches a ball in the outfield, overthrows it to first base, trying to catch a runner tagging. Then the first baseman overthrows the second baseman, and then they try to get the out at home, and that ball's overthrown. The entire time Ben Scully is making that call, he never once loses his tone, never loses his composure, doesn't buy into the craziness, just calls it exactly how it is with that same soothing voice. He's a guy who could read you your grocery list, and it'll sound flawless. I could probably listen to him falling asleep watching a game. He's a guy who, even though, again, probably a younger guy here speaking about two legends of the sport, not really fair of me, but I even knew that Ben Scully had such a presence about him and was so important to especially baseball, but really all of sports. I mean, this is the guy who called the catch for the San Francisco 49ers when they won the Super Bowl, a guy who was always smiling, always had a cheer about him. And we're actually going to end this podcast with a clip of Ben Scully's sign-off from his career a few years ago. Now, while we're mourning, it's really important to remember these two greats. And 
it really is a good opportunity for us as sports fans to not take what we have for granted. I always think it's unfair for fans to really criticize athletes, especially in their personal lives. And look, I'm as bad as the next guy whenever someone makes a bad play, maybe ruins a fantasy season, maybe you're listening on the radio and someone says something bad about your team, my New York Giants. I'm sure, you know, Joe Buck, Troy Aikman have said plenty of bad things about them in the past and it's really ticked me off. But that's not what this is about. We have to recognize the greats while they're still with us. And yes, it's always nice to look back at these memories fondly and appreciate these guys for what they were able to do. But while they're still here, they should know how important they are to our daily lives. So the next time you think about tweeting something at a player or going to a game just to taunt someone, the fans who throw stuff on the field or at players on the court, absolutely disgusting. You have to think of what they're doing. They're in this business to provide entertainment to you, the listener, and for millions of others across the country and across the world. So let's not forget what they're there to do. And Bill Russell was a guy who definitely took advantage of his platform to do only good things for the community. I mean, We know basketball is a predominantly black sport, and he was playing at a time where black people didn't have the same rights that they do now. They weren't looked at as equals. They were looked at as inferior. And Bill Russell was a huge part of the change that we see today where they're on a level playing field and they're able to be appreciated and welcomed with open arms by the majority of their peers. And just thinking about all this, it is really tough and it's hard for me to put into words. I'm really trying to do my best here, but we have so many figures in the sports world trying to emulate what Bill Russell did and putting their voice out for change. You know, I know a lot of people like to get on LeBron James's case for some of the things that he says. This is a guy who uses his platform more than any athlete I've ever seen in my life. And I would say 90 8% of the things he says are all very good. I mean, this is a guy who opened up a school. It's a guy who's spoken up against, you know, Black Lives Matter. He has tried to create positive change. He might not go about it the right way all the time, but in a world with social media, it's hard to get everything perfect. And when we see these tweets coming in, trying to crap all over them and create a divide, that's not what sports are about. Yes, the bickering of what happens in between the lines on a basketball court are different. You know, that's competition, that's spirit, that's sports entertainment. That is crucial. And that's why sports are successful and we love them so much because they create this passion within us that really gets our emotions riled up to 100. But when it comes to stuff that's more than the game, I think Bill Russell did it better than anybody else. And I just want everyone to think about that the next time they want to go on the internet or in person and terrorize another athlete for something they say or do. It's just not right. And Bill Russell was in the toughest environment in the time to be able to capture the hearts of people. And what did he do? He spoke his mind and he won. He captured the hearts of so many people. And you just got to recognize it. The guy is a top 15 basketball player of all time. And I'm sure people who actually watched him would probably say he's even better than that. I'm just going off what I hear. Now, as for Vin Scully, we know that the sports broadcasting space has exploded. And Vin Scully, primarily a radio guy, that's a business that while it still lives, it's definitely not as popular as it was before. I mean, this is a guy who broadcasted at the midway point of the 20th century, which 70 years ago now at this point. And now we see people like me who have a podcast and it's so easy to do and so easy for me to talk to whoever may be listening. But Vin Scully in the peak of radio was able to make people feel comfortable. There were people that invited him into their homes every single night during the summertime to listen to the Dodgers. And I can't think of any person who has had such a widespread appeal No one has a bad thing to say about him. He was a delightful man. And I only, again, got to see him in his old age, but he was still doing his job at a very, very high level. And we have to respect what he has meant to the industry, 
how many voices he gave to people that may not have had them before. And he will forever go down as a legend in the sports world. Not a ton more for me to say on this. I just want everyone to remember them for all of the good things that they did. And Bill Russell, this will be the first time in however long I can remember, he won't be up there giving away the NBA Finals MVP. And Vin Scully, while it's been a couple of years since he's been a regular on the airways, he is still going to have his voice be heard for many, many years to come from sports fans. Thank you guys for listening. I appreciate y'all. Check us out on Twitter at MediaVillage.com. Give me a follow as well, at jpor 24 And I'll talk to you guys next week. Many years ago, a little red-headed boy was walking home from school, passing a Chinese laundry, and stopped to see the score of a World Series game posted in the window. The Yankees beat the Giants 18-4 on October the 2nd, 1936. Well, the boy's reaction was pity for the Giants, and he became a rabid Giants fan from that day forward until the joyous moment when he was hired to broadcast Brooklyn Dodger games in 1950. Ironically, October the 2nd, 2016, will mark my final broadcast of a Giants-Dodger game. And it will be exactly 80 years to the day since that little boy fell in love with baseball. God has been very generous to that little boy, allowing him to fulfill a dream of becoming a broadcaster and to live it for 67 years. Since 1958, You and I have really grown up together through the good times and the bad. The transistor radio is what bound us together. By the way, were you at the Coliseum when we sang happy birthday to an umpire? Were you among the crowd that groaned at one of my puns? Or did you kindly laugh at one of my little jokes? Did I put you to sleep with the transistor radio tucked under your pillow? You know, you were simply always there for me. I've always felt that I needed you more than you needed me, and that holds true to this very day. I've been privileged to share in your passion and love for this great game. My family means everything to me, and I'll now be able to share life's experiences with them. My wife, Sandy, our children, Kevin, Todd, Aaron, Kelly, and Catherine, along with our entire family, will join me in sharing God's blessings of that precious gift of time. You folks have truly been the wind beneath my wing, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart for joining me on this incredible journey of 67 years of broadcasting Dodger baseball. You know, friends, so many people have wished me congratulations on a 67-year career in baseball, and they've wished me a wonderful retirement with my family. And now, all I can do is tell you what I wish for you. May God give you for every storm a rainbow, for every tear a smile, for every care a promise, and a blessing in each trial. For every problem life seems a faithful friend to share, for every sigh a sweet song and an answer for each prayer. You and I have been friends for a long time, but I know in my heart that I've always needed you more than you've ever needed me. And I'll miss our time together more than I can say. But you know what? There will be a new day and eventually a new year. And when the upcoming winter gives way to spring, rest assured, once again, it will be time for Dodger baseball. So this is Vin Scully wishing you a very pleasant good afternoon wherever you may be.